Hey everyone, today we're going to do a fraction problem, working it out style. All right, and if you've seen any of my working it out videos before, you know that I like to tackle a word problem by reading it a few times, really talking you through what goes through my head when I'm solving a problem. So let's get started. I like to start by reading through the problem once before I actually work with the numbers. I just wanna understand what's going on in the problem first. So this problem says, which fraction is equivalent to one whole? And then we have some answer choices, one half, four fourths, one third, three halves, and so right off the bat, I'm thinking, okay, so it's a fraction problem. I see the word equivalent in there. So I'm going to be kind of thinking about what that vocabulary word means. So I remember that it means that we're going to need to find something that is equal or equivalent or takes up the same space as one whole. So that's some good information to think about before I try to actually solve it. Okay, now I'm going to read it once more and we're going to highlight words that we think would be important for solving this. I've already got some good ideas just based on the first read, but let's read it one more time. Which fraction is equivalent? Ooh, I probably want to highlight that word equivalent because that really stands out to me to one whole. So I also want to uh, highlight one whole because I need to be working with that number to solve the problem. Okay, now that I've highlighted some things, I'm ready to pull up the whiteboard. If you want to use scratch paper or a whiteboard to help you solve it along with me, you can. All right, so I wrote down all of my fractions that are the answer choices and one whole so I remember what I'm trying to find that equals that. And so I think a good way to do this would be to take each fraction and draw a quick picture of it. So if I have half of something, I'll draw a rectangle and I'm going to shade in half of it. Okay, and we can pretend like this is maybe something like a candy bar. So is that equal to one whole candy bar? Okay, you're right. It is not equal to a whole candy bar. So now let's draw the next one. Okay, I'm going to split it up into three sections since the denominator is three. And I'm going to shade in the numerator or the top number. Is that equal to one whole candy bar? No, it's not. Okay, let's try this one, four fourths. So this time I need to make it have four parts. Maybe like that. Okay, and now I'm going to shade in the top number. So four out of four, does that equal one whole candy bar? Oh, I think so. Okay, I'm going to circle that one for now, but let's check the last one just in case. Three halves. So let's draw a candy bar and split it in half. Uh-oh, Can do we have enough to shade in three halves? No, we don't. We can shade in two halves, and then we're going to need another candy bar. Let's cut it in halves again and shade in, we need one more. Okay, so which choice do you think between these last two is equal to one whole candy bar? Okay, great job, it's four fourths. This one is more than one whole candy bar. So we can't pick that one, but choice C is great. Okay, awesome.